That's a big bitch. <laughs> All right, so it is uh, one o'clock in the morning. I just got a call. My package is being delivered. This is another episode of buying a truck sight unseen. I got a truck coming all the way from Arizona to Antarctica. Made his drive five minutes shorter by meeting him at the bottom of the driveway. So I'm a nice guy, you know? <laughs> One, this is the final vehicle that I will be purchasing as of 2023. The last truck I will be picking up for the year. The next year starts next week, so uh, after the next week, then I, I should be able to pick up another one. How many do we have right now? I think we're full. With me and Abby, I think we have like 14 or 15 vehicles scattered all across the country. We have so many that I get calls with updates and I'm like, oh yeah, I totally forgot I had that. And I'm pretty sure the entire internet forgets how many vehicles we have too. If this day ever comes when we get every single vehicle back in our possession, like in our driveway, core of our, our truck collection. Cause that'd be one hell of a video. We get an update of every vehicle that we have that everybody forgot about. And two, I get to remember what I have and <laughs> all the vehicles that I forgot about. It's kind of ridiculous. We have like, not to like brag or anything, we got like two million, three million dollars in fucking vehicles right now. I drive like three of them. <laughs> it's on its way. We actually bought it off of a giveaway company. I'm good friends with one of these giveaway companies. They didn't want to give away two Chevys back to back. So I bought the truck off of him. He bought this like really big frame off Ford with like a 30 inch lift and like it's a platinum. It has like nice red interior. Fabby, Fabby, oh what's, your, what's your name? <laughs> he is shipping his truck here. I am shipping, I mean, Fabby is shipping her mm. truck there. Heard it through the grapevine. If you don't follow the grapevine on Instagram, you don't get the grapevine updates. Is that like a threads thing? Hopefully. I didn't buy a piece of garbage. <laughs> the guy that I bought it off of, really cool dude. He messaged me for the past like month trying to close the deal. And then something clicked and I said, all right, send the truck. And he had it loaded up within an hour and on the <laughs> no, way. Literally. Literally, 24 hours away. And he found a driver and got it on a trailer like that. A small part of me is like, is this thing a pile of garbage? Cause he was, he seemed way too excited to get rid of it. But also the dude drives a Lambo. So I don't, I don't really think money is yeah. really a problem for him. I see it. Yeah. I, I would imagine that is it. I don't know if it's cause that thing's on a trailer, but that thing looks massive. It is on 30s. I don't know why I'm surprised. Yeah, it's on 30s. <laughs> Why? Yeah. That'll do. It looks 
small in the trailer. I was kind of sad. That'll do. <laughs> Bro, we bought an actual spaceship. Oh my god! <laughs> I've driven it for five minutes. I'm already in love. Yeah. Ten out of ten. Yeah, twelve out of ten. And they spin. Yeah, they glow. This thing is so baller. <laughs> oh my god. I like the switch panel on the ceiling. Is that horns? I I would assume so. Yeah, this is this is gonna be insane. Oh, that switch <laughs> panel is so hard. It is very hard. Y'all go for a ride? Oh, oh tow rig. Oh, tow rig. Oh my god, we did it. Hey, it only hey. took three years, but we bought a tow rig. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. I didn't get much sleep last night because I knew that this was sitting in my driveway right now. Finally get to see this truck in the daytime. Well, thanks to good old Chili here, L5Ps have quickly became one of my favorite vehicles ever. Favorite sounding motors, favorite driving truck. And this one is leaving very shortly. A couple weeks, this will be sitting in one of your guys' driveways. You guys have less than three weeks left to get iron to win Chili. My 2017 GMC 2500 Denali. It's got a big turbo L5P with a fully built six-speed Allison transmission. It's leveled on 26 by 16 JTX forged wheels wrapped in 33-inch Venom tires. Inside, it's got tan Denali leather interior with 2,500 stars, 30 rock lights, color match, and so much more. All you gotta do to get entered is click the link above or in the description below today super simple and for a limited time take advantage of our three time entry sale that means $25 would normally get you 10 entries you're gonna be getting 30 so take advantage of that sale get on it today and who knows on January 19th I'll be giving you a call telling you to come pick up your new truck good luck to everybody and enjoy the rest of the video so because of that truck I had no choice but to pick up another one another L5P and I don't think anybody's complaining so it's been like when I sell my Gym. It's been over a year since I've had like a legit tow pig. I kind of got carried away buying a bunch of personal, that, that's not even a quarter of them, honestly. I have a lot of stuff. Either it's a giveaway truck that I don't really want to tow with all the time because, you know, liability reasons. I, I haven't had a tow pig. I haven't had anything that's like small enough to be practical and hook up to a trailer and tow across the country. We got one now. Yay, finally. Smart financial decisions, <laughs> hell yeah. This is a 2020 Chevy 3500 Dually, obviously. Very, very, very tastefully modified. If I bought this truck bone stock, 99% of the stuff that's done to it, I would have did to it anyway. So it worked out perfectly. Besides the fact that it's white. White is not usually my color. We I have actually, a lot of white I vehicles. I have more white vehicles than Abby. <laughs> and Abby's color is supposed to be white. I bought it off my good buddy. He owns Iconix, it's a giveaway company. Fully color match. It's got a high country grill, a custom headlight, Lights, pay match on the inside and it's got these daytime running lights that are green the whole theme of this truck is white and green so it has a bunch of green accents including the daytime running lights i that's fucking sick bodyguard bumpers don't really know how i feel about the bodyguard bumpers going up my driveway i can see the house from the bottom of the driveway because these lights are so bright may or may not keep those may or may not do stock bumpers so if anybody's looking for bumpers for the 2020 hit me up because i got a set because of those bumpers you're able to fit a massive wheel and tire these are 30 by 16 jtx's and 42 1650 fury tires i actually have four trucks on this exact wheel and tire size setup they freaking spin they got this like nasty lion logo. I'm more of a monopoly guy, but I guess uh, a lion with a crown can do too. Obviously 42s, you need a lift kit. So it has a FTS. An FTS. We we literally just got done making fun of FTS lifts at um, See, SEMA. But it's not the big, big one at the bottom. Yeah, I do not mind this one. This one sits at like 12, 14 inches, I'm guessing. It doesn't have the massive cross member that goes in the massive front. Massive block. <laughs> yeah, it, it looks like a Lego. You ever see the big, big one? They're like four times the size of these. These are the, this is a nice one. I like this one. It's like very perfect. nice. And it's all chrome plated and powder coated green. This is my first truck with chrome plating on it. That's pretty cool. FTS, you did a very, very good job because this truck drives, I'd say just at factory or better than factory. The speedometer is off by 20 miles per hour. And I only found that out after I was doing what I thought was 60. I was doing 80 mile an hour with like one finger on the steering wheel bumping Dolph. And I'm like, yep. That, that's ridiculous. This truck absolutely rolls out. It's got AM steps. Forbidden Empire. That sounds like a squatted truck group. No fat is allowed. Bought, not built. That's what we're gonna do, for sure. It's got leather interior in it now. It's got cat skins. Very, very nice leather seats. It just looks like a normal Chevy interior. Not really anything too special. It's got subs in the back. I found that out last night because I was like, damn, this is a really nice stock sound system. And uh, Abby was like, nope, there's definitely subs in the back. Very, very nice truck to drive. I can definitely see myself hooking up to a trailer and driving 24 hours. No problem with this truck. And you're gonna look really good doing it. And 
the little panel up here. Oh, that's, that's the most baller panel. thing I've ever seen. Actually, I have that same exact switch panel in the back seat of Megan. I want to do that exact switch panel on Megan. I love it. It's boop, 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 boop. turn on all your lights and shit. Feels like an actual spaceship. Fully color match, even the little side step is color match. So that's cool. Big bumper and an even bigger hitch. This hitch is bigger than the whole fucking truck. You know, I don't want to carry that hitch because that other one's heavy. Yeah. Imagine that one. This one's like twice the size of my Gen Y and it's got a step and a fuck. Uh, oh, what are you fishing for? <laughs> shark it's just the anchor for this Bro, massive this boat so big, I, I was pulling it off the trailer yesterday and i scraped the bottom while pulling off the trailer on a massive lifted truck that makes no sense also got train horns that should be on a hillcat a uh, big ass tank bunch of train horns back there shout out to horn blasters hornblasters.com we're gonna test it out today if it tows but it should tow i mean it's fine. a dually but you know yeah. <laughs> i don't know like made the to tow i don't know if it tows as good as it drives normally this is going to be one of my favorite trucks yep now it's gotta get does it have powder coated freaking <laughs> hooks what? or whatever it's called the tail is very good i'm not gonna lie i don't know what happened to me this year but i love chevys for some reason and that's really weird for me. They've been I, really good for us. I grew up hating Chevy. Like, I, I've never thought they were nice looking trucks. I've always been Ford. And then if it has a 12 valve in it, sacrifice and get a Cummins. I only like second gens and Fords. We have like everything. Yeah. We have, we have a square body that I like very much enjoyed driving the other day. Everybody that limits themselves one brand or one hobby or anything, like just branch out because you never know. You might absolutely love a truck that you've hated for a majority of your life. My grandpa even owns a, a Dodge. I have a text message from him when I bought a second gen. He said, cool truck, but that <laughs> better not park in my driveway or I will light it on fire. And now he has one. So branch out, try new things. You never know what you'll find. Cold start. Cold start. <laughs> We actually have a very, very busy day today. Now that I have this brand new tow rig, uh, not only do I want to test it out towing a trailer, the limited, beautiful truck, love it to death, have so much coming for it. It has a very small fuel leak, so we're taking over to the dealership. Oh, hello. Whoa. Yeah. Actually, I, people forgot that we own this thing, uh, probably. <sighs> oh. <sighs> Almost just pushed it from my bike. That would have been, um. I count one, two, three, four, five, six tires. Why? Burnouts? Just mess up with my math. Hmm. Oh, we have that dually bed over there. Let's throw the dually. It's white. That is correct. What a great idea. Dually swap the world. It's a jet. It's, it's an actual 747. Oh my god. So nasty. I love it to 100%. death. 100%. And it's only going to get way nastier. Headlights, tail lights. We got to throw the bed on. We got 26s coming with those three tires. The truck's going to be baller as fuck. We're going to hook up that one to the Little car trailer. trailer. Yeah. Fall the bed. We're taking it over to Brian's Motorsports today. They're going to do the paint match on the bed and throw the bed on for us. So all we got to do is bolt on wheels and tires. And you, you have to be loaded up on the gooseneck. Three cold starts in one video. <laughs> Jets laying around? I don't have trucks, I have private jets. They're just very small. Which one was your favorite? Fourth uh, gen. I think I'm going with the L5P. Comment down below. Not gonna lie. Those front bumpers look really freaking good. You like them? It looks like a unit from the front. Maybe we'll, it'll, it might draw on me, and then maybe I won't do stock bumpers. The rear bumpers, I don't know about the rear, but the front one really definitely. On the I like the rear, but I don't like the front. Uh, gotta go up a little bit still. It'd be the only tow pick from now on, so hey, we're good. High Last time. trailer coming soon. Yes. <laughs> that thing's beautiful. Now this is the setup. This is a setup and a half. White on white on white. Still looks so nice. If that gooseneck was white, yeah. we'd probably cause accidents driving anywhere. Can we make the tires white too? That's the only thing that ain't white on the whole truck. Windows white, white tint. White tint. This is Michael completed. Jackson. Sheesh. <laughs> Look at all these white vehicles, bro. Bro, there's so many. If all it's right. white, it's right. Yeah. If it is snowing, <laughs> I ain't going. <laughs> oh, we made it. Successful trip. 
This thing hauls freaking amazing. Who would have thought? A brand new Chevy 3500 hauls like a freaking dream. Who would have thought? I think I was doing you 80 miles. You were about to go like 90 the whole way. I was like, bro, let me keep up. I like this. 24 to 26s. They look like sixes. I love the matching steering wheels. My 26s new. look so big on a car that you put them on a truck. That's, that's 24s right there. Yeah, and they, they look like 20s low yeah. key. Last time I was here, it was like two years ago for, is it Smoky Mountain Truck Fest? I think. I got arrested. I, I got arrested here for doing a burnout. Oh, is that a square body? Oh Yo. And it's black. It's the right color. Jeez, it's like hidden. I don't think this thing's coming out anytime soon. Holy shit. That's pretty baller. It's on vloggers. Tundra. Hey, that's your new truck right there. <laughs> Range Rover. Gasser. And another G. I like that square body though. Is that is it for sale? Can I take that one home? You will? Oh shit. No, no, no more trucks. No more trucks. <laughs> if you live in like Tennessee, Nashville area, hit a brand motor forts. They're like the plug. The shit. The outside parking lot. It's always weird. Like at a at a truck show, I always go to like the trailer parking to find cool trucks. And then at shops, I like looking outside at like customers' vehicles. There's a third gen over there. I saw a 2G. I saw that. Ah damn. That bitch is nasty. Oh my god, wait, that's the one that was on Marketplace. This one is? Yes, is this the one that has the, I think the, it has a GPT-6. No. I'm pretty sure it is. Look it at is? It. It's got a second speed? Does it have the... It looks like a brand new Trams. Oh How god. funny would that be? Dude, that's the one that I wanted to buy so bad. <laughs> Just needs a sport bumper and this thing would be yeah. lit. Bro, you don't even know about these fuel Mavericks right here, bro. This is before your time. You know, these, like, four years ago, if you had a dually on these wheels, you were the absolute shit, a.k.a. LP24V. This is like his exact truck, but his was green and made like 1200 horsepower. 5G. That's about it for over here. 2G's. I would take this over the 5G. 2G's just get me going. <laughs> what is this little slam Nissan or? Oh, I thought it was a whole lot less than that. I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> is that literal Bumblebee? It's about Every to transform. Yeah, Dude, that gonna battery's die. gonna die. <laughs> oh. Ooh, another 2G. A sport front end. Thomas will buy that whole truck for $500 and take the sport front end off and sell it for five grand. Ooh, cute little Bronco. I kind of like that one. That's cool. Green, orange accent. <laughs> this is a ticket right here. Got the Alcoas too. Alcoas are like another one of my favorite wheel tires. Bro, it reminds me of my half and half truck. Yeah, that's hard. We're so amused by like little Small cheap stuff. trucks. And then there's this. This is like my favorite thing that's here. Damn. That was bad. We'll get to that. That was bad. A little license plate. Right hand drive. Looks like a like a little drug rug as freaking seat covers. Yeah, it might tow like the garbage cans down to the road. I actually, these are the same wheels that were on um, my fourth gen that we just got rid of that Thomas has yep, now. Four Giatos. Oh, I like the BMS off-road. That's sick. Yeah, they're definitely rose gold. Yeah. Platinum 450. This is actually like same as that truck that I was looking at before we ended up picking up the Chevy. That truck is so much fun to drive and the exhaust brake is so nasty. Yeah. yeah, I don't know which one I want. If I want to keep the stock turbo and use the exhost brake or do an S400. If I did an S400, it'd have to be smaller than Chili's. Towing heavy, heavy, Yeah, that truck would probably not like it. Yeah, Megan's got to come back. Hive's got to come back. Both of those on the 40 four footer yeah <laughs> that's like borderline needing a semi truck so <laughs> big turbo is probably not a good idea this is like the old school lot i'm surprised you're not geeking over the single cab right here it seems like your vibe yeah i left my 370z I at home that is actually pretty hard this. this ooh, with the white and black 4g's striker lift so does it come back to like this like half no no they wrap they either it wrap the really top good. or wrap the no i think they wrap the top i think it's a white truck and then they wrap the top that's clean yeah they just casually be pot like this is their tow rig and it's like nasty as fuck. One day. One day. One day. It's coming. <laughs> One day we'll have nice. Maybe the L5P and the 450 towing? You drive the 450, I'll drive the L5P. You're not seeing the 450? No way. I don't know. I, I fuck with this Chevy. I'm telling you, I'm like broken. I don't know what's going on. Well, hepatitis. See you later. <laughs> In like three weeks, it'll be thick as fuck. trailer is a million times easier than backing up a little trailer. Is there even a trailer back there? I can't Literally. tell. It doesn't feel like it. God damn, he needs a raise. Already got the limited unloaded. You trying to get a raise, boy? Yeah, I don't know if it's a fuel bowl or this truck has a CP4 disaster kit. So it might be the gasket around that, but something's leaking a little bit of fuel. Needs an oil change anyway, so I might as well get both of them knocked out at the same time. Damn, they got big ass doors at this dealership. That's what we need. I took it to the dealership over by our house and they said the truck was too tall for us to get an oil change there. I 
I said, this thing's pretty baller. Uh, I like it a lot. It's really, really tight. <laughs> Since Ford trucks, they have to, oh, literally right there. 2023 F250. Oh, it's a 450. That's exactly what I was going to buy if I didn't buy the Chevy. The back's kind of boring. Yeah. It needs a lot of paint. I bet if it was all paint match, it'd be nicer. They got step on little bitty wheels. They have a step. They got two steps. You got step right there and step right there. And these are ten lug wheels. Three steps. There's the one under that one. Well, has a little amp step. <laughs> what the heck? What Ninety four grand, and it's used. It has twenty seven okay. thousand miles. It's got leather interior though. That's actually pretty baller. Yeah. Damn, that looks nice. As Big fuck. screen. I mean. Do I need a limited? $40,000 more than a Lariat. That front end's growing on me too. Yeah, I, I low key looking at it really close. Yeah. It's, it looks way in better person, than the 22. In pictures, I got probably looked at a hundred pictures of these on Marketplace in the past couple of weeks. It's you remember that white one that we seen that was paint matched? Yeah, all that. paint matched one, black or white looks mm, amazing. Yeah. 12 inch elevate lift, some 30s, make it sit like that truck. That thing is... <laughs> we need two tow rigs because we have so many like show trucks right now. To get everything to a show, we're gonna buy a white trailer for this setup buy a black f450 limited and buy a black trailer and have two set up so abby's trucks and then my trucks behind it well it's about that time last ride yeah you gonna cry yes there's the trailer she's on her way to her new home i think i'm gonna regret this one <laughs> What do you think, Abby? I'm sad. You're sad? Yeah. I think I'm like fumbling right now. You're fumbling? Big. Yeah, it's green. It's got green accent lighting everywhere. It's pretty dope. It, it was a good run. You went to SEMA with this truck. I did. This is your first big frame off SEMA build. Mm -hmm. The first of many. She literally has a first thing getting built right now. Square body and fancy. And after tomorrow, you'll have an even cooler truck. Yeah, you won't even remember this one. <laughs> I don't know. This one kind of hurts. Uh, that better I got to buy you a little Luma Duty and I don't really. <laughs> Two I'll, buy, I'll, just buy a, I'll buy a white 2023 F450 from her and then a black one for me. It's like Hopefully you just love this truck we're picking up tomorrow. Are you actually going to cry? I don't know, maybe. At least you get to cry in a $200,000 Duramax. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Bye, Jolene. I don't know if I'm spoiling the surprise or something, but hopefully somebody will be entering to win that truck and hopefully one of my fans enter to win it. Didn't you say you're going to try to enter to win it too? How right. much are you going to put in it? Like 200 like, grand? $2,000 every week. 